Ever wondered why your friend can devour a pizza without gaining an ounce while well, you seem to gain weight just by thinking about carbs? The answer is genetic variation in metabolic rate, also known as metabolic type. It's not an excuse to blame genetics or limit your fitness goals. Instead, identifying your metabolic type can provide insights that help you reach your goal weight. In this video, I'll explain metabolic types and how to find yours by answering a few simple questions. I'll also provide tips for optimizing your diet based on your metabolic type. So what does the word metabolism mean anyway? Basically, it's the process by which your body breaks down food and turns it into energy. Your metabolic rate is simply the speed at which this energy turnover occurs. You could think of metabolic rate as your body's unique engine speed. It can rev high, idle low, or cruise somewhere in between. Metabolic types are just different categories on this energy spectrum. The three metabolic types are ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. Each type has unique physical attributes and a different metabolic rate. To explain the differences, picture the athletes at a track meet. An ectomorph is like a long distance runner with a slim build. They generally have a fast metabolism, which readily burns fat, but makes gaining muscle difficult. By comparison, a mesomorph is like a sprinter, known for their naturally athletic build. With a medium metabolic rate, mesomorphs can willingly gain muscle and lose fat. Finally, an endomorph would be like a shot putter with a robust build. Their slower metabolism makes weight loss challenging, but also supports more muscle mass. It's important to understand that most people don't fit neatly into these three categories. According to a nutritioneering survey, about two out of three people have hybrid body types. Hybridizing metabolic types provides more discriminate categories. For example, ectomesomorphs have a medium high metabolism, while endomesomorphs have a medium low metabolism. You might be asking yourself, do these metabolic types really matter? Some people would argue that categorizing body types is oversimplified and unhelpful. Indeed, the internet is saturated with pointless body shape quizzes. However, studying body types has roots in ancient Indian Ayurvedic medicine. Additionally, modern studies suggest somatotypes have meaningful implications in sports and exercise science. Nevertheless, human metabolism is complicated, and metabolic types tend to generalize this complex process. So identifying your metabolic type definitely isn't a complete solution, but it is an excellent first step in overcoming barriers to gaining muscle or losing fat. If you still need convincing that metabolic types matter, consider some real world examples. For the first 10 years of my fitness journey, I struggled to weigh more than 160 pounds, despite following the standard bodybuilding advice. The main reason for this plateau is that I wasn't eating the right amount for my ectomeso metabolism. Once I finally realized this, I modified my diet and exercise routine and gained 30 pounds the following year. On the other end of the spectrum, I've worked with many endomorph clients who could never lose weight or were stuck in a yo-yo diet cycle. When I helped them adjust for their metabolic type, they finally lost weight and kept it off. Now let's assume you're ready to find your metabolic type. The simplest way is to assess your baseline body weight. For example, if losing weight is very hard, you're probably an endomorph. If it's only somewhat challenging, you're likely an endomezo. On the other hand, if it's somewhat challenging to gain weight, you could be an ectomezo. And if you really struggle to gain weight, that puts you in ectomorph territory. Still, it can be difficult to evaluate yourself especially if you have mixed traits. That's why I created a simple metabolic type test. You just answer nine basic questions about your appetite and lifestyle. Then you'll see your metabolic type with diet and workout recommendations. I'll put a link to the test in the description. The information is free and you don't have to enter your email. Once you know your metabolic type, you can define your ideal calories, macros, foods, and meal schedule. Next, I'll provide examples of best dietary practices for endomorphs and ectomorphs. If you're a hybrid, you should lean toward the recommendations for your dominant traits. The most critical factor in controlling body weight is the difference between the calories you consume and the calories you burn. Most people know about calories in versus calories out, but did you know that your metabolism burns 60 to 80% of your daily calories? So metabolic variation can account for a few hundred calories per day. This is why adjusting for your metabolic type is essential when determining your daily calorie intake for fat loss or muscle gain. Endomorphs need fewer calories than the average person, while ectomorphs need more. Mesomorphs and mesoblends fall somewhere in between. The next factor to consider is macronutrients, which are protein, carbs, and fat. Some diets prescribe extreme low carbs or low fat. However, a balance of macronutrients is better for sustainable dieting and long-term health. From there, you can slightly adjust your macros based on energy needs and dietary preferences. Generally, Endomorphs can benefit from lower carbs and higher fat, which helps to reduce total calorie intake and improve insulin function. 
On the other hand, ectomorphs can handle eating more carbs and less fat to fuel their metabolism and prevent muscle breakdown. All metabolic types benefit from a relatively high protein diet. That means getting enough protein to maintain or build muscle. When hitting your macros, it's necessary to choose the right foods. For optimal results, I recommend primarily whole or minimally processed options. However, your grocery list can change with your metabolic type and fitness goals. Endomorphs are more affected by junk food and should focus on eating clean. Cheat meals and refeed days should be less frequent. Conversely, ectomorphs can indulge in cheat meals more often especially if they need the calories. But it shouldn't become a habit, and dirty bulking isn't worth the health risks. Finally, timing your meals around your sleep and workout schedules can provide a slight boost in reaching your goals. Specifically, research shows that eating several small, protein-rich meals throughout the day helps maintain a healthy weight. In addition, endomorphs may focus on protein and fat for most meals and add carbs around their workouts for energy and recovery. Meanwhile, Ectomorphs could benefit from balanced meals of protein, carbs, and fat throughout the day. When you put all these nutrition pieces together, you'll amplify your results. Understanding your metabolic type empowers you to make informed decisions about your diet and puts you in control of your body weight. So click the link in the description to take the free test and get more detailed advice. If you feel overwhelmed by the information, I also provide custom nutrition plans with easy recipes and goal-specific workouts. You'll get access to a private community and you can email me with your questions. For more helpful fitness tips, hit subscribe and check out my related videos.